Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eric here. Uh, just wanted to create a video for you all about a situation that I came across today. A beautiful situation, a grateful situation between uh, me and another person that uh, that needed some help and just needed someone to talk to. Um, needed a little, they needed to understand themselves a bit more and maybe just kind of speak out, just like I'm doing right now, to understand what's going on internally and to manifest it externally in words and to get the opinion of somebody else's um, to kind of give give us a, a little better of perspective because sometimes we're in our heads so much and we, we go so far into thinking how things are gonna go or what might happen or all sorts of different ways that we get lost in the illusion of our thoughts and we, you know, basically expand this illusion to the point where it just becomes absolutely crazy when someone else hears it and and especially when you hear what you're saying out loud and you're realizing wow maybe I don't feel that way but you thought you did for so long and in this situation today what what really what I really learned from this was that we need to trust ourselves more and we need to be honest and upfront with ourselves. We need to spend some time with ourselves and be honest with what we're feeling inside. And that what you're feeling inside is completely okay. Do not feel bad about what you're feeling. Don't try to hide from what you truly feel. Especially if it's a true feeling. And what I mean, you're gonna learn and understand the difference between something that feels right and something that feels like a feeling that is manipulated by, you know, as we call it the ego, or something manipulated by your train, your your expanding concentration on a thought, which relates becomes a, a, an emotion in your body. We call that, as Eckhart Tolle calls that, he calls it the pain body. And basically, it's that you know that feeling of pain you get when you think, uh, you know, of a, a certain memory or something like this. So you have to be able to distinguish what what is true, you know, and don't beat yourself up over it. Hey, if you're feeling a certain way, please, please, please do yourself a favor and 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 stop saying that I shouldn't be feeling this way. You are feeling that way for a reason. And the most important thing for you to do is face it, is to look at it with clear eyes, the mo the best that you can, and just say I'm feeling this way because, boom, and I am, I am, I've felt this way for a long time now, and it hasn't changed, so what, what are these feelings to me, you know, what, why am I feeling that way, and to accept it and to confront it, it might be like, you know, I've really not been feeling good about the, what, the work that I do, I, I feel like I'm, there's something inside of me yearning to do something different. And then you have these thoughts and these dreams and these, you meet these people, you read these stories and, and they're resonating with you because they're on the frequency that is being pulled to, you're being pulled towards. And it's so important to listen to these feelings and not neglect them and be like, no, 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 what, no, I gotta make more money and I gotta keep doing this. Man, please listen to something that's going on inside of you because there's more at work than just the mind and your thoughts. There, those things are going on for sure, but there's much, much more going on than you know. And there's much more going on. It's a co-creation. It's not just you are manifesting. It's a it's a double manifestation. You know, there's uh, there's so many times where people people just do things because of this feeling inside of them, and you know, and it and it's a true feeling. Again, they've sat with it long enough to understand that it's not. It's not something that is brought on from themselves or by, by society. It's almost going against society, but they keep blocking it out because not everyone else is doing that. Or it's not what you've always done. So it's, it, it, it's, it's not familiar to you. So in this video, all I really want to say is like, listen to your heart and listen to what you feel and, and be with that and explore it more and then perhaps take action on your life because something is trying to be manifested 
in a beautiful way and you know it's beautiful. You know it's beautiful. If something's inside of you saying, I want to help more people. I don't want to start. I don't want, you know, this to be the avenue I go down. That's something telling you. It's talking to you and you know it and it yearn, your body is yearning for it. I'm telling you right now, you've got to start making moves. You've got to start, you know, starting and going down that path because it's not going to go away and it's just going to keep getting worse and worse and worse with how it's going to try to tell you. And there's a, there's a saying that I read in a book once. It said, you know, intuition is gentle. Dreaming is gentle to you. But sometimes you need to go through so much pain in order to understand that what understand what your intuition was initially telling you. So I'm telling you, if you can listen to your intuition now, and, and, and you can understand this deeper feeling inside of you, and you can act upon that, you'll save yourself a lot less drama and stress. And you don't need it. I, you don't need it. I'm sure you've had it before. And sometimes they come, but you know, I believe some of that's out of our hands. But if you feel like this is in your hands as a co-creator, to make that move right now and to listen to the intuition and to listen to the honest feelings that you're having, I promise you can take the next step. That next step that you've been meaning to take for so long. Whether it's from a relationship, whether it's from business, whether it's from a path that you feel you want to go down. Maybe you want to learn something that your body's yearning for. Spending more time in nature. I don't know what it is for you. But please, listen. Please listen. Spend some time with yourself. Put on some music, subtle music, no words. And just let it marinate. Let, let whatever energy that is out there come into your being and listen to it speak to you because there's something greater than you and that is what we're listening to and that's what we want to listen to not ourselves sometimes it's okay we're great creators creative engines but it's important to listen and a lot of the answers you have trust me yes there's some external ways of getting things and, and it's true but all the answers are within and uh, it's always a great reminder for me to understand that for myself. And making these videos uh, allows me to dig deeper inside myself and to reflect upon what I'm saying. And to be able to speak this externally is, is a beautiful thing for me and maybe perhaps for you. And maybe perhaps you do the same uh, on your journey. And um, maybe allow others to hear what you're saying and to you know reflect upon themselves. So thank you again, and um, God bless you all. Uh, you know, love spread wide, and uh, I'm super thankful for all the humans in my life and all the beings and the ones that we get to communicate with.